Finally, the day has come. Finally, the... Finally, the day has come. The Lego Convention. James invited us to the Lego Convention in Pasadena. How could we say no? Are you excited as I am? I'm excited, you're excited. Okay, day. So what do I gotta do to get you to buy me a Lego set? Seeing James so happy freaked me the fuck out. I ignored his request to buy him a Lego set and continued to think about how awful this day was going to be when James's emotions weren't at a calm neutral. We go now, dude? Huh? Head out? No. We left the safety of the booth and entered the Lego convention. And as I looked down onto the floor, a little voice called out from within me. A voice that said, Steve, you're not better than these people. I laughed, thinking about how wrong that voice really was. Ouch. I'll admit it, I really did think James was strange for wanting to come to this convention, but it turns out Legos are far more popular than I would have ever imagined. No oh, way. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I couldn't believe my eyes. Standing right in front of me was Ian from Smosh. He seemed surprised to see me as well. In fact, he looked like he had just been caught masturbating again by me. Honestly, I can't believe Ian's here. I don't know why, why, why he's, well, it's Ian. Kib hit the nail on the head and we watched in horror as Ian and James both discussed their hobby. Dude, so I'm really looking to figure out the, the new uh, inside book on the minifigures. I hear they're changing the skin tone Oh, you mean again. the minifigs? No, I don't like to abbreviate because it's disrespectful oh, to the artists. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm trying my hardest to not be judgmental, and I think for the most part I'm doing a good job, but it's one thing to enjoy Legos. I respect that. What I don't respect is doubling back, trying to cover your bases when you realize you're being filmed. I actually don't know anything about Legos. I'm, I'm being a good friend and I'm here. There are two parts to this. One, I could tell he broke James's heart. And two, the motherfucker plays with Legos, I guarantee you. It's Ian from Smosh. Everyone from Smosh plays with Legos. It's just something that makes sense. One person I know that doesn't play with Legos is Kib. He just doesn't have the stamina. And to counter Ian's lie, Kib lies about playing with Legos to try to be more relatable. Yeah, I'm not a really big yellow fan. I'm probably, uh, I stick more to like the oranges, blacks. Yeah, some people go with the, uh, It's like the movie, oranges and new blacks. Neither of them wanted to be in this conversation. Yet both were far too polite to end it. And this is what real horror looks like. And also this. And the horror was just getting started. Because I found myself separated from my friends. Good. <laughs> James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After wandering around for 30 minutes, I finally noticed my friends. They were far too close to the play area. And I managed to spot Kib right here, stealing a Lego off the table from one of the kids. And he was very proud about that. And then there's James telling him to, to put that back. I couldn't help but feel like no amount of hand washing could prevent any disease I was gonna get from this convention. All I could do was bide my time and try not to hit the main floor. So I hung out with Lauren and Sammy Joe, waiting for James and Kib to be done at the play area. You don't look like you're having fun. No, I'm having fun. Then why don't you look at us when you talk? Dude, Legos are supposed to be fun. But all I'm doing is just getting coughed on, like, kid after kid. Like, every kid just keeps coming up to me and just coughing on me, and I'm getting social anxiety, and I try to walk through all these people, all these crowds. I just get coughed on and coughed on and coughed on, and these kids don't have, okay. they just, they have new diseases. Me and the girls are no strangers to a solid vent sesh. It helps us clear our minds, but I couldn't clear my mind when I kept getting distracted by James. Steve. 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 Yeah, James, yeah. Remember you said you were gonna buy me a Lego set? Why haven't you done it yet? You said that you were gonna buy me a Lego set. I want the Death Star for only 400. James, can't you just wait one week? Okay. No! I want to build it in my new house and I'm moving into. So, Paul? 
I'm still here. Since I couldn't think in peace, I went over to find Kid. I figured he would at least be my equal in this situation, considering neither of us are Lego connoisseurs. Turns out, Kib was trying to learn more about Legos, but he wasn't asking a Lego professional, he was simply asking... What's your name? Alan. One of the convention center's guardians. Do you like Lego, or is it more of the... Muscle, the muscle side of things. What kind of Legos do you, do you like? If you were, if you were to play with some of, with some of the Legos, I used to like Harry Potter. Oh, dude, yeah. me neither. Those. Me neither. I was surprised to find out that James wasn't really having that good of a time. It wasn't the convention that did it. It was just one specific moment. <laughs> Yeah, I keep getting coughed on. <coughs> huh? I was happy that our time at the convention center was finally over. It's just not my scene. But that doesn't mean I don't respect everyone's interest in Legos. I'm sure I have passions that people would find just as weird. For instance, one of my passions is linking up with other families. I don't get to see my family that often, so this sort of alleviates that issue. Next time you go. Oh, it's next time. Oh, it's next time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Steven, yeah. I need to get as far away from this Lego convention as possible. Bunch of kids just coughing on me the entire time. I think I'm afraid of kids. I don't think I'll ever have them. For now. <laughs>